diabetes and high blood pressure are two chronic conditions that often go hand in hand. Both these conditions can lead to serious complications and if managed together, it can lead to a significant health benefit. The coexistence of diabetes and hypertension significantly increases the risk of cardiovascular diseases and mortality by two to three fold. A few of the conditions that contribute to both hypertension and diabetes include obesity, a diet high in fat and sodium, chronic inflammation and inactivity. If you have diabetes and high blood pressure, the American Diabetes Association recommends that you self-monitor at home, record the readings and share them with your doctor. Now, why should those with diabetes be aware of the risks of high blood pressure? If you are a diabetic, your body resists insulin and sugar builds up in your blood and this causes your body to retain salt and fluid, which is one way diabetes increases your risk for high blood pressure. Over time, small blood vessels in your body are damaged and this causes the wall of the blood vessels to stiffen and this leads to high blood pressure. So, when you have high blood pressure along with diabetes, first, you have an increased risk of heart attack, strokes and eye or kidney problems. Your heart works harder to pump the blood when you are hypertensive. And this puts a strain on your heart and damages the blood vessels which are already getting damaged due to diabetes. Second, symptoms of complications of type 2 diabetes such as nephropathy and retinopathy also appear earlier. Third, you even have an increased risk for dementia and Alzheimer's. Since the blood vessels in the brain are particularly susceptible to damage due to high blood pressure. And fourth, you may be at risk for preeclampsia. A study from 2003 has shown that women who have gestational diabetes are more likely to have high blood pressure. And if you develop high blood pressure during pregnancy, then you should consult your doctor to get your urine checked for the presence of protein as high blood pressure with protein in urine is a sign of preeclampsia. So, how do we prevent high blood pressure in diabetes? Lifestyle changes including healthy diet and daily exercise can help you lower your blood pressure. So, here are some useful tips to help you lower your blood pressure. The American Heart Association recommends either 150 minutes per week of moderate intensity exercise or 75 minutes per week of vigorous exercise or a combination of moderate and vigorous activities every week. In addition to lowering blood pressure, Physical activity can strengthen the heart muscles and it may also reduce the arterial stiffness. So, the exercises can help you gain better control of your blood sugar levels. You should also try to maintain a healthy weight. Eat a diet with low sugar but plenty of fruits, vegetables, fish and healthy fats. You should also try to limit your intake of salt, high fat meats and whole fat dairy products. Try to avoid smoking and drink only in moderation. Avoid non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs that is NSAIDs which can raise your blood pressure and though you may take acetaminophen instead whenever it is possible. Also, do see your physician regularly and get your blood pressure checked regularly. So, though some people can improve their type 2 diabetes and high blood pressure with lifestyle changes, but most others require medicines to control their condition. So, depending on their health status, people may need to take one or more medicines to help manage their blood pressure. Most of the high blood pressure medicines may be included in one of the following categories. And these include, first, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, that is ACE inhibitors. Second, angiotensin 2 receptor blockers. Third, beta blockers. Fourth, calcium channel blockers and fifth, diuretics. So, at last I would say that you should seek help of a healthcare professional to develop a personalized management plan that includes dietary, exercise and medication recommendations to manage both diabetes and hypertension. So, that's all for now. I hope the video was helpful. Thank you.